started July 2017. I had just joined a beauty school and everything was going good and dandy until the month of August. In the middle of August, um, I had woke up for school and noticed a really bad rash from the top of my head to the bottom of my toes and it was not fun, it did not feel good, it was very, I was very irritated and I was itching all over, it was just really bad. So I assumed it was because I had an allergic reaction because the day before I ate some Chinese food. So I was assuming, oh maybe I'm just allergic to something and that was the cause of it. But a week went by and no sign of me getting better. So I ended up going to the hospital and telling them, hey, I have a rash. What could it be? Um, and they told me, oh, it's just a bad allergic reaction. Here's some medicine. You should be fine. So then a week went by and no sign of me getting better, but I started noticing, hey, I haven't started my period and it's already the end of the month. I should be starting already, but I kind of wasn't worried. I was like, okay, I have a few more days until the end of the month. And then the last day of August came and I was like, oh my God, let me please start today. And my mom usually kind of keeps up with our periods because she wants to know like, hey, is something going on? So she asked me, she's like, hey, have you started your period? And I was like, no, but you know, I think I'm gonna start today. Today's the last day. And usually I start like at the end of the month. So, you know, maybe I'll start soon. And then July came and I noticed that I did not start my period in August. So I kind of knew like, oh yeah, I am definitely pregnant because I had never missed a month. I was not irregular. I was always regular. Always started my month at a certain time of the month. So, you know. And um, I told my mom, like, hey, mom, I didn't start in August when I'm supposed to. And I might be pregnant. And she was like, oh, my God, you have sex. Oh, my goodness. Why didn't you tell me? Blah, blah, blah. And it was a long talk with me and her, and she kind of was very, very, very upset at me, and she didn't want to talk to me. So I ended up going to Walgreens and getting myself a pregnancy test from there, and came home, and I went to the restroom, and then I looked at it, and sure enough, two bright lines came out saying, oh yeah, I'm pregnant for sure. So I told her saying, okay mom, I'm pregnant, maybe this is why everything's happening to me. I told my boyfriend at the time, um, and he was very excited that I was having a baby. He was in shock. It was crazy because we didn't think, or I assumed didn't think I was going to get pregnant so young in life. I thought I had so much more time until I had a baby, but you know, it's just meant to be, I guess. So I was very scared at the time because my boyfriend, he was working in New Mexico and my mom really didn't want to talk to me. She was very angry so she didn't want nothing to do with me. But she kind of helped me so I could take myself to the doctor and try making sure me and the baby were fine. But she didn't want to kind of be included, I guess, sort of say. So um, I went to the doctors with my grandma and the people there told us saying, oh yeah, you are six weeks pregnant and the baby's doing good. He has a heartbeat, just very healthy. So I was very happy to be hearing that I have a, I have a baby who's very healthy and um, just good because I wasn't taking no medicines for him and vitamins. So I was assuming the worst because I didn't know I was pregnant. I wasn't eating the way I was supposed to be eating. I wasn't taking care of myself like if I would have known I was pregnant. So I was very excited and happy to hear that um, my baby was very, very, very healthy. So then a few days later, my mom came to the realization that I'm not the only girl who's young and has a baby. And she opened her arms and she told me that she wanted to be a part of me and the baby's journey. And I was so happy because as a young, girl who's pregnant you want somebody there for you you want everything to go right and you need experience you need somebody experienced to do it so I was so happy my mom came and told me that so then my boyfriend ended up coming back to Texas and moving in with me and my parents because I didn't want him to feel excluded or you know not a part of this journey of me being pregnant with the baby so me and my boyfriend decided hey um let's spend the baby's life as a married couple 
so we ended up getting married when I was four months and ever since then we did the journey as husband and wife which I'm so happy we got married even though we got married young we knew that we were meant for each other so through my whole pregnancy everything was good the only thing that really kicked my butt was that um, every time I ate I really couldn't keep anything down I was just always throwing up I always felt nauseous um, but I, I had medicine for that so thank God um, it kind of helped me so I could eat a little more but other than that everything was good um, I ended up finding out it was a boy and we were so happy because my family there's nothing but girls I have two sisters it was my mom it was just there is a lot of girls in my family so I was so happy that I had a boy and like kind of break the chain for me and my family other than that my pregnancy was very good um, nothing really happened the only thing that was really hard for me to cooperate with was that every day I had nausea I couldn't hold my food down I had medicines for it but I still really couldn't hold it down but other than that um, my whole pregnancy was fine I was fine the baby was fine we were just we were very good and healthy thank god so then it comes and april 10th is here and that's when i'm in labor it all started at three o'clock in the morning and i had to go pee and i kind of felt like pain here and there but it wasn't really extreme and i thought you know what it's just my body trying to play a joke on me whatever it's so then my at six o'clock my husband went to work and we kissed said goodbye and i kind of felt a little pain here and there but nothing really strong but stronger than the pain at three o'clock so i was kind of like hmm, is it because i'm in labor but i didn't think i was so i was like you know what whatever then i woke up at 10 i felt more pain but i i was like no i could it's not me in labor. I was kept doubting that I was in labor and then I kept feeling it every five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And I was like, no, I don't think I'm in labor. It doesn't hurt that bad. So I told my grandma because my mom went off to an interview, my sisters were at school. So I told my grandma, hey grandma, you know, I've been feeling pains here since three o'clock. You know, I don't know if it's because I'm in labor or because it's my body playing, it's my body playing tricks on me. So, um, she was like, okay, keep timing them, keep timing them until your mom comes back. So my mom comes back home. She's like, hey, my interview went good. How are you doing, Sandra? And I was like, well, you know what? I've been feeling some pain. She goes, are you lying? Are you lying? Is it time for the baby? Is it time for the baby? And I was like, nah, I don't think it's time for the baby. You know, it's just, you know. I think it's just my body acting stupid on me you know I don't know so she was like hmm okay just let me know and I started feeling more pain and more pain so I was like you know mom I've been feeling pain for a while now you know it's every five minutes and she's like oh my god let's go to the hospital but then I was like I don't want to go to the hospital unless I know for sure I'm giving I'm giving in labor so we ended up calling my OBGYN and they told me saying that if it keeps happening and um, for an hour come in to the hospital and we'll see you so it happened for an hour and every time it was three minutes five minutes three minutes five minutes so we ended up going in and they checked to see how long I've been dilating for and it was only two centimeters and they were like you know what if you hit three we will put you in the hospital and you will have your baby today so they told me to walk around, which I did, and when I came back, they checked, and they were like, yep, you're going to have this baby today. So they put me in a room, and they gave me an epidural because at that time, I felt pain like never before. And at 11, 14, I had my little baby, and his name is Jesus Enrique Rivera, and me and my husband are very happy, and... We're very thankful to God that we have a healthy baby and he's doing good and me and my family's doing good and I'm very excited to see what my next journey is and how it's going to be now I have a baby. 
So thank y'all guys for watching and I hope y'all enjoy my video of how I found out I was pregnant and my whole journey along with it. I'll see you next time. Bye.